Hello and welcome to my channel Minds Eye and Inspiration. This is going to be a pick a card reading for the week beginning the 23rd of January 2022. Now if you like the videos that I'm putting out and you haven't already subscribed then please do click that like and subscribe button that way you won't miss any future videos that I'm putting out and uh, it will also help me gain my 1000 subscribers and I'd like to say thank you for all those people who have liked shared and subscribed so far I'm really grateful for the support that's out there um, so with this pick a card reading as you can see you've got three lines of cards so all you need to do is look at the cards and see which one you're drawn to there will be time stamps in the description box below so if you pick lines two or three just click on the time stamp and then that will take you straight to that reading and you won't have to sit and listen to all the readings okay i will also put a link in the description box below to my sister's youtube channel anything spiritual because she also does monthly readings for each star sign so let's turn over line one and see what's in store for you for this week you've got the magician card the six of coins the Emperor card and clear your space okay so for those of you that have picked line one you've got the magician card so this is all about you at the moment you've got an idea something magical that you want to bring into your life and you've got all the knowledge, the expertise, the wisdom. You've got everything you need to do this. And you probably have other people say, oh gosh, you know, that's going to be really hard work. You don't want to do it. But you know you can do it. And you're the magician. So you can make the magic happen. You'll find that you can be in the right place at the right time this week. To hear an important conversation or to pick up on something but it's the magic can happen you are the magician you can make things happen in your life this week the six of coins look so money changing hands is this somebody lending you money so you can start your new business you can buy your property you can be that magician and you can bring whatever you need into your life or is it you lending somebody else some money to become partner in a business or something like that. So it's money changing hands, decision happening, but sixes are also to do with stability after changes as well. So this financial decision, this thing that you want to bring into your life, it's all about stability and the emperor look. So the emperor is again, it's about being your own boss about being the person in charge, making your own decisions. So I definitely feel that for some of you, this is really is um, about being your own boss, starting your own business, building your own empire to become the emperor. And this week sees a, a significant leap forward in that. And again, clear your space. It's about getting rid of the clutter that's around you and this doesn't have to be physical clutter this isn't about just going home and tidying your house up this is about the energy that is around you clear your clutter move away from negative people people that tell you you're not good enough or you can't do this that put you down limit the time that you are around them i don't you don't have to fall out with them completely but just don't spend all day with these people because if you sit in somebody else's negative energy what that does is that pulls you down and you then become negative so clear that clutter that's around you. Try to stay in a positive environment with positive people. 
people that uplift you and make you feel happy, not people that drag you down and make you feel negative. So limit your time with those people because when you're feeling positive and energised, that's when you can make the magic happen. Well, I hope you've liked that reading. For those of you that have picked line one, if you have, then click that like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends. And I hope I'll see you again next week. And we're now going to turn over line two. You've got the Knave of Swords. The King of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Wow, you've got all the royal family there. And you've got Life Review. So, for those of you that have picked line two, this week shows with the Knave of Swords that there, um, there's decisions yet to be made. Now, you can see this lady standing here with the swords and the wind is blowing her hat off and it's all around her head. So, something's not clear to you this week. Something needs to be made clear with the wind blown around and her hat's blown off her head. So the thoughts in your head, things around your head, they're not clear. They're cluttered. And knaves can also be about messages. So this could be a message that comes to you this week that causes this confusion, causes things to be up in the air and unsettled. Or it could be that you're waiting for a message to try and clear the air and to try and make some kind of clarity to get rid of this confusion that's flying around you this week but there's definitely some kind of confusion or unclearness going on and you've got the king and queen of wands so that's really really good because wands are to do with work home life they're to do with enthusiasm hard work planning and you've got the king and queen. So this is about you clearing up this confusion, making some kind of clarity in your life so you can pursue your creative projects. You can continue with your enthusiasm to bring into your life what you want to bring. This also could be that there is a man and a woman helping you. Is this your parents? Is this your siblings or friends? But there could be a man and a woman in your life that are helping you. This could be a person that has got a birthday around March, April, May time. And they're a good support for you in your life at the moment. Or is your confusion about a person that has a birthday, March, April, May time. Are you confused about them? Are you confused about their commitment to you? Because there's definitely some kind of confusion. And this is a general reading, so it's going to mean something different to each person. It's not going to mean the same for everybody life review so again this is about looking at your life clearing that confusion that's going on making clarity and then being enthusiastic to bring into your life the things that you need to resolve and heal and make balance life review look at your life take a hold of it clear that confusion and bring bring clarity into your life Heal anything that's unbalanced. Resolve unsettled things from the past and move forward with clear clarity. Okay, so I hope that's helped you for those of you that have picked line two. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and we're now going to turn over line three. Okay, you've got the Knight of Swords. You've got the knight of wands or the knave of wands 
you've got the Eight of Wands. And you've got Claire Audience, which is one of your senses. Okay, so you've got a knight and a knave there. So again, this can be to do with messages for those of you that have picked line three. There's some kind of message that's going to come to you quick this week. Something that you're going to learn about that you didn't know before. This could be a piece of information that you are expecting to come in that you've been waiting for. Or it can be a piece of unexpected uh, unexpected information but something's gonna come to light and it's gonna happen quickly and it's gonna make you a bit unsettled it's gonna rock your world it could even cause you to cut people out of your life the knave of wands look it's gonna make you want to look forward it's gonna make you want to move away from your past something that you believed something that you had had this belief in all your life could suddenly turn out to be a lie and you're going to have to reflect on that and decide what you want to believe how you feel about it and where you want to move forward but you know this card feels quite positive so even though with this card you've got this big shock this this rock coming that's going to turn your world upside down once you deal with it, things will feel calmer. And it's almost like, even though you never knew this, after the drama, it feels like life is better. It's like, even though I never knew this, I suddenly feel peace. I suddenly feel this calmness. It's like I always knew there was some kind of secret going on. The Eight of Wands. So you're going to need strength this week to deal with this secret, this knowing that you find out about this piece of knowledge, this information. It's going to knock down walls. It's going to knock down boundaries. But look at the rainbow. After the hurt, after the shock, brings peace, brings calmness, brings clarity, strength. And weirdly enough, your life will get better afterwards Claire audience notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people you've got people supporting you listen to your intuition listen to your inner guidance those voices in your head in your heart that guide you and tell you where you want to be listen to it because it's there to help you it's there to guide you and it will always lead you in the right direction. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your reading for those of you that have uh, picked line three. Don't forget to check out the description box to my sister's YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out your monthly readings. And uh, the February readings are now starting to be released. And I hope I'll see you again. Oh, don't forget to check out as well your yearly spreads. They are still available on my channel. Thank you for watching.